GDPR that's come out more recently with the mobile bill capping that's about to hit in, in October. If you don't know about that, go check it out. Um, the, 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 the problems that people are having are, are diverse, but they're similar. And they all are trying to attack it in a different way. And so we try and help them through that process each and every time. Tell us a little bit more about the uh, the mobile um, cap stuff yes. that's just, just about to hit. <laughs> okay. What does this mean for our market? What do resellers need to get their heads around in order to not get caught out on that? that okay, so uh, we could spend all day talking about this particular subject, uh, uh, if you know about it. So uh, the government launched last year a new legislation that uh, was originally, we believed, aimed at the consumer market. Okay, um, If you look through all the legislation, that's what it was aimed at. It then got transferred into businesses and anybody that's selling mobiles into the sector uh, has to now comply, in theory, with a mobile bill cap for mobile services only. Okay? Uh, so what that means to the, the resellers, our customers, is that an end customer receiving a mobile phone is supposed to be, able to be offered a cap for their services, so you can't go over a pre-agreed limit. Okay? This legislation is fraught with issues. Um, we've been champion the cause to try and get this, not reversed, but at least delayed a bit. Uh, we only found out about this in March. It was officially launched last uh, November, and it comes in the 1st of October this year. Not long Bear at all, yeah, wow. Yeah, so bearing in mind it's a complete end-to-end -end chain solution, you can only do this if you're getting data feeds properly from the carriers upstream from you, and they're not ready either yet, and it comes on the 1st of October. So this is a major problem wow. that's about to hit. <laughs> so, so, how, how, so how do you how do you address this within in, in form? I mean, so so we've been so when we found out about this uh, in March, uh, early March this year, uh, most people had seen it but not realised it was going to affect them. When it first came out, it read very very much like Consumer World, so major carriers to the consumer. So everyone's gone, yeah, that's okay, it doesn't affect us. Yeah. Um, in, in November last year, the FCS and Ofcom uh, published some information. Again, that was sort of partly missed by most people, including the carriers. We picked it up in March and went, hold on a minute, this actually does affect us and our customers. Lots of alarm bells started ringing. We then started to look at what we might need to do for our software. Uh, so we have done some implementation change on the software to allow a basic bill cap, but the whole legislation is designed to be able to, for the reseller to cap and control the mobile phone at the provider end to stop the bill going over the limit and that is not in place at the moment. Hardly any of the carriers have got that in place. So the actual process is going to be a problem. <laughs> so from your